is a great, now this is a very big man, very, very big. You can really see here how he gets right around left. When his right hits the center, he's pulling his left around the right, okay? I like to think about, you got your circle here, okay? There's your left foot and your right foot. You post up the left and you move the right around the left. Then you get in the middle, you got your right foot's here now. Now you're gonna bring your post up the right and you're gonna bring the left around the right to the front of the circle. Now your left foot's up here. And now for the finish, you're gonna take your right arm and it's gonna come around your left. Three concentric half circles, all on the same plane. No up and down, flat, flat, flat. Right side around left, left around right, right around left. Very, very simple. <coughs> Okay, back to the charts. We saw the averages getting better by the best athletes, okay? In the mid-2000s, people were practicing this. This is me. This is me in college. I was practicing what those guys were doing in the mid-2000s. When I went to my national meet, I threw a meter further than I ever had before, all because I was thinking about moving faster. I knew I had to get faster to the front to throw further, and when I moved faster, I was, I was moving so fast, I didn't have time to set up my right leg, right hip turn, and a lift. It didn't happen. I finished my arms too fast. And when I did that, I automatically shifted to here, right? So I threw really far, I got home, this is before uh, video cell phones, looked at the tape, and I thought, oh my goodness, Justin, you could have thrown even further if you had set up Extension, okay, that's, that's stupid. Didn't know any better. The averages were low in the mid-2000s because athletes were practicing this and accidentally throwing like this. Now, everyone's practicing this and they're throwing like this. And that's why the averages have come up. You see it in the technique, you see it in the results, the data is there. Um, 